this view attitude sample can be pretty useful. Um, it demonstrates a variety of view features that uh, it showcases the view attitude can apply to your eye model. You can give us a wireframe look. You can turn off the background map. I'm going to go back to smooth shade. Let's give it some shadows. But basically, you get the idea. This widget is a controller that applies all these view attributes. And let's say we want this in our own item viewer application. So how do we do this? This takes us into our next topic, which is how to import widgets from the sample showcase into your own item viewer application. So each sample is first prefaced with a readme that explains the purpose and description of the performing API. And above it, we have a series of files demonstrating the code for the API. You'll notice a very similar name at the top here called the view attribute app.tsx, primarily this app.tsx portion. And at the bottom of the file, you'll see the very familiar component, the viewer component with our favorite prop passed in the UI providers prop. Hopefully you remembered this prop and as I mentioned before, these UI items providers are very extensible. The UI providers prop passes in an array that initializes the new view attributes widget provider. So if we take a look at the view attributes widget file, scrolling all the way down, you'll again see the very familiar UI item provider interface being implemented here and follow the exact same pattern, calling the provide widget function, uh, initializing the widget with the location, again, specifying the right side, with the get widget content function, returning the view attribute widget, which is defined at the top here. So given our prior knowledge, let's take the entire widget and add it to our local item viewer application. So what is the metaverse? A metaverse is a 3D virtual world focused on social interaction, a virtual reality space in which users can interact with computer generated environment, basically in which a user can do much more than the physical world, like different type of jumps, driving a car without a license, uh, playing with the tools, playing like a video game, chatting, streaming, or listening to music. So what is a virtual world? A world that does not exist physically and is a computer simulated environment. Uh, a virtual world can be a world where the law of physics does not exist like the gravity and the matters. Um, the main or the example which I like to share with everyone is like uh, maybe any video game which you have played. Uh, in a 3D simulation world, um, GTA series, uh, Doom 3D, and so many others. What is a digital twin? Digital twin is the virtual representation of a physical world. So for example, a virtual building, or a virtual office, or a virtual school, uh, which show you real-time insights about that object. So what are the similarities between digital twin and metaverse? Uh, they both are a virtual world which can be operated by a laptop computer through internet or mobile phones. Uh, they both can be connected uh, virtually. Even the softwares which are used in both of these technologies are very same like Microsoft Azure environment. Um, NVIDIA Omniverse, um, Unity, um, these all softwares are used to make this virtual world. What is the difference between the Metaverse and the Digital Twin? So in Digital Twin, it represents the physical world, but a Metaverse does not represent a physical world. It is an imaginary world. Second is in Digital Twin, we have data coming from IoT devices into a real time, such as uh, details of shipment, uh, the room temperature, uh, a manufacturing 
unit cameras, how many people are there in the manufacturing unit. But in the metaverse, it is more focused on entertainment. Uh, it could be about connection and social interaction between multiple users. The application of metaverse is entertainment, social interaction, but the applications of digital twin is smart factory or smart building. What all softwares are used in metaverse and digital twin? Well, as I've mentioned before, um, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Unity, and Unreal Engine are common in, um, in both of them. For specifically for digital twin, you can also use Bentley's iTwin. And for Metaverse, you can always use fa Facebook developers' uh, libraries. So these were the main differences between a digital twin and a Metaverse 